I'd like to introduce the founder of the Horatio Alger Awards, Kenneth J. Beebe. Ladies and gentlemen, an honored guest. The men we honor here today achieved their dreams through hard work and overcoming obstacles. We are of such stuff as dreams are made on. In the words of our forefathers, America is still the land where equality and opportunity are synonymous. Freedom, mutual respect, equality of opportunity, these are the principles which animate the American dream. These are the principles which have guided our work and decision making. Without them, we're not a country or an association I love so deeply. As members, we're a menagerie of life stories defined by the opportunities we have seized. And together, as a membership, with life partners, legacy ambassadors, and friends of distinction, this association creates opportunity for our scholars. Seventy-five years, 770 members, 35,000 scholars, $235 million in total scholarship since 1984, countless lives transformed, and the American dream preserved for future generations. Yet none of this is possible without the passion of Kenneth Beebe, who laid the foundation for one of the most philanthropic organizations in American history. When the Horatio Alger Association was founded in 1947, Beebe's goal was twofold, recognize Americans who had achieved success and encourage students to see the vast possibilities available in America through the free enterprise system. The most pivotal moment in the early history of the association came in 1952, when Dr. Norman Vincent Peale, author of The Power of Positive Thinking, accepted the Horatio Alger Award. Over the next 15 years, Beebe, with leadership support from Dr. Peale, began to grow the association, celebrating award winners annually at a midday press conference at the Waldorf Astoria in New York. But the association came to a crossroads when Kenneth Beebe died in 1970. In the aftermath of his death, Dr. Peel convened the first advisory meeting of past Horatio Alger Award winners at the Waldorf to decide the association's fate. From that meeting, a clear vision emerged. Past award winners wanted to sustain the association, but more importantly, create a legacy of impact, especially on the nation's youth. In this pivotal moment, it was decided that the association would increase the number of annual award recipients and encourage its award recipients, past and present, to support the association financially in order to grant scholarships to students. Dr. Peel continued to grow the organization, ultimately becoming president in 1975 and hosting the Horatio Alger Association reunion dinner on October 16th of that year. The featured speaker at that first dinner was a 1969 Horatio Alger member with an eye on the White House, Ronald Reagan. This reunion dinner became the framework for what would become the annual Horatio Alger Awards. And under Dr. Peel's leadership, the association expanded its operations, creating a board of directors, hiring an executive director, and having past awardees nominate and select new Horatio Alger Award recipients. From this moment forward, the Horatio Alger Association charted its path toward the success it enjoys today, achieving another 35 years of key milestones. In 1977, the iconic Horatio Alger bust, which is still awarded to this day, was introduced. The 1979 awards ceremonies marked the first time students attended the Horatio Alger Awards. In 1981, the association officially renamed itself as the Horatio Alger Association of Distinguished Americans Incorporated. And in 1984, it launched the Horatio Alger National Scholarship Program. By 1988, the association had relocated from its first office at Rockefeller Center in New York to a new headquarters in Alexandria, Virginia. And in 1989, the first National Scholars Conference gathering occurred in Washington, D.C. 1991 saw the first member-sponsored specialized scholarships created. And just a year later, the first inaugural reception and ceremony was held at the United States Supreme Court. 
In 1996, the Norman Vincent Peel Award was created in tribute to the visionary who led the association during its most tenuous time. The past two decades for the association have been marked by significant growth in philanthropy, member and life partner engagement, scholar and alumni programming, leadership publications, as well as increased national visibility. Horatio Alger has even expanded north of its original borders, creating the Horatio Alger Association of Canada in 2009. And in 2012, the Horatio Alger Foundation Board was incorporated to establish an endowment and raise $327.8 million. Today, a new endowment aims to raise an additional $300 million to permanently endow the association's scholarships in support of our nation's youth. In 2016, the association achieved a four-star rating from Charity Navigator, its highest rating for organizational excellence and financial stewardship. It has achieved the rating consecutively for five straight years. Such a legacy could scarcely have been imagined by one man who brought this idea to life as a personal mission to support his belief that the American dream will always endure. But Kenneth Beebe's story is the ultimate Horatio Alger story. With commitment, integrity, passion, and humility, anything and everything is possible. 75 years on from Beebe's singular concept and Norman Vincent Peale's great vision, we celebrate the Horatio Alger Association as one of the great Only in America stories. And through the ongoing support of its membership, that story continues to be written today.